This is tutorial number 60, and it covers how to create a spring or coil within SOLIDWORKS. Now to start off, let's open up a brand new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now to start off, we need to sketch a circle, so let's click on the top plane, click Sketch, and click Circle. Now let's make this circle from the origin. And the radius and the diameter of the circle that we're going to be creating is going to be the radius or diameter of the spring or coil. So let's make it a 25 millimeter radius and we're going to have a 50 millimeter diameter coil. Click OK. And you can see this is going to be our base of our spring or coil. So now let's click Insert, click Curve, click Helical Spiral, and now you can see the helical spiral which is going to be our coil and we're going to have it with a constant pitch 10 millimeter pitch 10 revolutions and we'll start it off at zero degrees we want to start it off at zero degrees so that we can sketch onto the spiral so let's click OK now let's click the right plane let's look at the right view and because we made it start off at zero degrees we're able to sketch a circle right onto here and once you've got the coincident point with a circle, sketch onto it. And let's make this 2.5 millimeters in radius. Click OK. Click Accept. And now we have our sketches ready to create our Springer coil. So let's click Feature. Click Swept Base. Click the circle. Now click the helical spiral. And now we have our Springer coil. Now we like it, let's click Accept. And we're done. We've created a Springer coil within SOLIDWORKS. Now we're able to adjust this still by going into the features here. So let's open up the sweep, open up the helical spiral. Now let's say we want it to be a wider base. So let's right click on this sketch, click Edit Sketch. With the smart dimension, let's click on the circle and let's make it 100 millimeters. Click OK. Click Accept. Let's rebuild it. And now you can see that we've changed the radius to 50 millimeters and 100 millimeters diameter. Now let's switch it back to 50 again. Right click, click Edit Sketch double click on the 100 millimeters, let's make it 50, click OK, click Accept, rebuild it, and we're back to where we started. Now let's click on the helical spiral and we're going to adjust how the helical spiral works. So let's right click on it, click Edit Feature, and we can change the pitch from 10 to 20, we can keep going, and it just changes the distance in between each coil. And we can change the number of revolutions, but for this let's go back to 10, keep it at 10 the pitch. Now instead of doing a constant pitch, we're going to do a variable pitch. So this is going to be more like an automotive spring. So let's click variable pitch, and now we're able to adjust in more detail the pitch. So for the first line let's have 0, 50, 10. For the second line Let's have 2, 100, and for the pitch, we'll have it at 10, then we'll have 8, 100, 10, then we'll have 10, 50, and 10. Click OK. Click Accept.
and now we have created a Springer coil with variable pitches. And that concludes our tutorial on how to create a Springer coil within SolidWorks.